Welcome everybody, my name is Lida Liberopoulou and in this video I'll be answering a viewer question about Pentiment. Uh, the question was posted by viewer Twist the Awesome uh, on my 16 fun Pentiment Easter eggs video and is asking whether Vaxlav's uh, Christian beliefs were inspired by Gnosticism and also if the ideas of Gnosticism are in the book The Cheese and the Worms. But first, I need to explain who Václav is and his connection with uh, the book The Cheese and the Worms. Well, Václav is a peripheral character in Pentiment that appears in Act 1 and Act 3. He's a Romani traveler who uh, lives with Smokey, the charcoal burner, on the outskirts of uh, the town where the game takes place. Whenever you meet him, he will go on and on and on and on about his uh, uh, bizarre and uh, rather heretical religious beliefs, which seem to become more extreme as the game progresses. Also, depending on your decisions, he might end up getting in serious trouble uh, at the end of the game. The Cheese and the Worms is a history book that examines the bizarre religious beliefs of an Italian miller called Menocchio who lived in the 16th century. Uh, the problem was not uh, only he had these bizarre beliefs, he just couldn't shut up about them, uh, despite the many warnings he had. Um, eventually he caught the eye of the Inquisition, he was put on trial in uh, 1583 and ended up in prison for two years. After he was released, he continued to talk about his religious beliefs. Uh, in uh, 1598 he was put on trial again for heresy and in 1599 he eventually was burned at the stake. So. Is there a connection between these two characters? Well, yes, there is. Um, Josh Sawyer, the director of the game, had published a recommended reading list uh, before the launch of Pentiment. And in that reading list, there was the cheese and the worms. And uh, the character of Vaxlav is clearly inspired by Menocchio. When it comes to Gnosticism, yes there are some clear influences on the dialogue of uh, Vaxlav. Um, I'm not going to go into the, uh, you know, things like Abraxas or uh, the Demiurge or, uh, you know, these ideas, but yeah, in, especially in his dialogue in Act 3, there is clear inspiration. The writers had clear inspiration uh, from Gnostic ideas when they were writing this character. As for the uh, cheese and the worms containing uh, Gnostic ideas, well, um, the author, um, Carlo Ginsberg, lists about 11 books as, be as being the main inspiration behind uh, uh, Menocchio's religious ideas, and these are quite a mix. They include things like uh, the Decameron, the travels of Sir John Mandeville, uh, even Anabaptist teachings. They even, there is even a possible influence that came from the Quran. I mean, uh, his main idea, which uh, gave the title to the book, uh, was that the world appeared naturally from the congealed mix of the four elements of earth, wind, fire and water, like cheese congealing after churning, and that uh, men, the angels and God, uh, who was the most powerful of the angels, appeared on it like maggots or worms appearing on cheese. Uh, the Gnostic elements, if any at all, were very superficial. Uh, for the end, I should uh, make a short note about the concept of microhistory. Microhistory is the examination of history through the focus on small units of research, such as an event, a community, or an individual. It differs from case studies because it uses these small units to focus on larger concepts. 
Um, the Cheese and the Worms happens to be one of the most famous works of microhistory, but there have been a lot of other uh, examples over the years. Um, uh, I guess that you can say that Pentiment is uh, using microhistory to examine the themes uh, in it, although it does it obviously in a, in a fictional setting. Um, uh, also, microhistory is um, a method that uh, makes uh, the uh, makes history far more approachable to a non-historian, although it, it has some severe limits. Um, uh, I would say st I would still recommend uh, at least the the books I showed here on screen. And I highly recommend uh, The Cheese and the Worms. It's a really good book. Well, that's about it. If you think that this type of video is interesting and you want to see more of them, please leave a comment uh, here or in one of my previous History in Video Game videos. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Um, thank you for watching and uh, Ave Atque Valle.